YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, today's video, we're going to be talking about Doc. Apparently, he's coming back. The header's changed. Tweets are going out. The situation's a little stinky. A lot of you guys have been tagging me saying, hey, Nikki, let's hear some thoughts, man. So I'm going to give them to you. The only thing I ask is you give me your thoughts as well down below. And don't forget to like the video, man. And enjoy the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, gang. YouTube! Oh, we got a stinky one for you today. It's been a little over a month since Dr. Disrespect Somebody's making made a comeback. Tweet, talking about the Twitch ban and admitting that he had an inappropriate conversation with a minor. Let's watch And now discuss. here we are, a little over a month later, Chop and he up. makes his return tweet. And he's basically saying, I'm playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. And then there are responses in the comments. And I don't think this is going as well as Dr. Disrespect wanted it to go. It's not a complete this, and total disaster yet. But it could turn into that. Right now, this tweet has 17 million views. It has 66,000 likes. But he is almost getting ratioed in the comments section. Not with the total comments because he has 13,000 comments. But you have a few comments here. Right here, this one has 64,000 likes. Basically calling him a PDF file. Um, and Doc responded to it. And says, little brainwashed woke a boy putting out Dragon Ball Z GFX with Kendrick Lamar lines. It got me big time. <laughs> that has 19,000 uh, likes. This right here says, uh, is this you playing with a minor? That has 59,000 likes. Re Doc responds, says, good one, she, good one, her. she her. Making fun of the pronouns, which always is acceptable to make fun of weirdos with pronouns in their bio. The internet. I don't know who this guy in the video is, but. W agreed. We'll never fix real uh, your real threat, depression. Yeesh. Damn, and man. I think this person responded to Dot. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, oh, is that why you were offline for a month? Um, thanks for the tip. Here's one for you. Don't inappropriately message kids again. So again, yeah, internet, you, internet, you, you've got up. a lot of different internet, reactions across the board. Um, here's Mudahar. It says, I'm assuming the one taking the photo Mudahar. is too young to understand stands, chess. Guy, oh, my Jesus goodness. Christ. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely that is, brutal. That is brutal. Um, we're playing checkers while he's playing with. Oh, man. Oh, man. So you came yeah, here to play a game up. of chess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's not the the, the self awareness is kind of gone right now uh, in this situation. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is bad. So right now, I, I I think Doc has a ton of support for sure. Okay, he definitely has a ton of support. He does. I'm not disputing that at all. He's got a gigantic community. But he is getting absolutely roasted. Now, what's the meaning behind uh, I'm playing chess while everyone is playing checkers? Does he have a big deal that he has lined up? I can't see that happening at all. Does he have the receipts uh, for what happened? That is potential. I don't know. Um, but I am clearly on the side of until I am shown more, you, Dr. Disrespect, admitted to inappropriately messaging a minor. Right here, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Nothing more. That's the end game right there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Me neither. I mean, I'm, I've never been, I've never claimed to be this big time Dr. Disrespect fan. I've always appreciated him from afar with his gimmick uh, and all of that. But I've said in every video I've ever made about Dr. Disrespect, I don't watch the guy consistently. I find a little clips of him very entertaining and all of that. This right here, this is the most damning piece of evidence against him. Nothing else. Nothing some weirdo from Twitch said. Nothing that some random blue haired land whale said on Twitter. It's what he said. He said this right here, and this is the most damning piece of evidence. Right. So unless he's saying right, right here that he has the receipts to basically prove that he didn't do anything that would be deemed extremely inappropriate because he says it leaned into the direction of inappropriate. And that's uh, that could mean a lot of different things. But he is getting roasted as of right now. And unless he's got something definitive... 
I don't think this is going to end up too good for him. What's interesting is you go into the comments section of this and look at the quote tweets, and there's a lot of people that have been silent about the Chris Tyson, Mr. B story, but they have no problem being vocal about the Dr. Disrespect story. Very interesting how that works out. There's a <laughs> lot of people right now that <laughs> sit online every day waiting for something of controversial course. to happen with a creator or a streamer or something. And as soon as that controversial thing happens, they're there to make a video. Yeah. They're there to add their commentary. They're there to add everything. And as soon as there's a minor update, they make another video. I have no problem with that might be me right now that that's what you do but the Chris Tyson Mr. B story is the biggest internet story we have seen because it involves Mr. Beast Mr. 300 million subscribers and a lot of these commentary youtubers don't want to talk about it don't want to mention it and are acting like it's not even a big deal but they'll jump on the Dr. Disrespect story, won't they? Because they're cowards. That's why. Absolute cowards. But I'll call out the Dr. Disrespect story, just like I'm going to call out the Chris Tyson story. I do think the Chris Tyson situation, based on what we have seen, is far worse. But they're both bad. Both bad. Let's not give Doc uh, uh, a pass here until we have more information. Both they're bad, both for bad. sure. But that line right there from the man himself. Guys, this tweet was pure chaos. I mean, he originally put out this tweet, and then he changed it like two or three times. He made edits to the tweet and edited out weird words and shit to try to make the tweet seem different than what I, – I don't know, man. Just th th This tweet was a shit show, okay? Aside from that, overall, I mean, look, the guy himself comes out and says that he was doing these things. I'm just saying for me, this was the nail in the coffin for our relationship – you know, being friends, that's it, man. There's not a lot more that needs to be said at that point. As a husband, you know, I got my wife, how much I care about her, man. This, this guy's doing this. It's just, it's a bad look. It's a bad read all the way around, man. This is just not, this is not it, you know. It's not it. Self, Dr. Disrespect, that is the most damning piece of evidence at this particular point in time. And until he gives more clarity on that, he needs to be judged on that, in my humble opinion. But the Chris Tyson story is so, so much worse. So much worse. But I will wait and see what happens with all of this. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's a great video, man. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And Geeks we'll and gamers. Talk to you later. Big, big shout out to that guy, man. He did a really good job with that video. I mean, look, there's a lot more than just that. I think he kind of starts it off going over the tweet. These replies are hilarious. <laughs> I will say. <laughs> And then, I mean, from there, big, big shout out to X, man. He kind of started this thing where, like, look, if you guys are all going to come out and say this, 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 and that about Doc, and then you're going to keep it quiet with Chris, understand how screwed up the two situations are, and you're playing them so different. I mean, keep it a buck the whole way through. So shout out X for keeping everybody honest. Because, I mean, you can see the differences. You can see the differences in some of these people in the industry, man. Like, Pokimane, right? She unfollowed me. You know, Falky Ray unfollowed me. This is with the doc situation. She says, yuck. Right? Right? And then he, here's what she has to say about Chris Tyson. I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors, not except regards of who you are. It's a shame that people will see this as an opportunity to attack the trans community. Like a whole other paragraph about the trans community. Like, of course, man. Of course. Just a huge difference. And then, of course, after Pokimane, her beloved friend, Valky Ray. And then, of course, after Pokimane, we got V here, right? Dropping another paragraph about the whole situation. And it's just all about trans stuff, right? So here you got two girls, L.A. chicks, no kids, right? They're not moms. Someday, possibly, they will be, they could be. Watch how their opinion will change. Just watch. Okay. I guarantee it, man. The, these people that don't have children that just weigh in so heavily on this trans stuff and this LGB whatever stuff, just sit back and watch. First things first. Here's Aiden talking funny, right? about That's first of all. the difference Second between all, creators bro, and their energy spent on the situation. Saying, why are all these creators so scared to talk about fucking uh, 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 Chris Tyson, but they were so easy to talk about Dr. Disrespect? That just doesn't right. make any fucking sense to me, bro. Don't say GG's chat. It shouldn't affect anything about the new direction we're going. But come on, I'm being real. 
Why are so many creators scared to fucking tweet and talk about it, but they were so quick to put all these tweets about Dr. Disrespect? It's just insane. It's like, obvious, chat, what's going on here? If you know, you fucking know. Um, but, like, dude, it, it's it's fucking crazy. It, it's absolutely fucking crazy. It's the stuff they're um, pushing, man. It's the stuff they're pushing. Nah, it's all nah, it is. I, I know. That's why I really fuck with XQC. X made a tweet, and X is not fuck with the bullshit either. X is one person that's fair. He likes consistency. It doesn't matter who you are, your sexuality, your race, your gender. It don't fucking matter. If somebody's called out for being a fucking pedophile, they're a fucking pedophile. And there's there was more proof on Chris than there was on Dr. Disrespect. Like, come on. I'm not saying too wrong. I'm not defending Dr. Disrespect. He's a pedophile too. But I'm just saying, like, there's literally more. Bro, I'm watching clips, bro. I'm like, what the fuck am I hearing right now, bro? Snapchat messages and shit. Like, it's just fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> it is crazy. I'm not going to lie. There's so much stuff going on, man. Unreal.